Okay, so I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I have never, ever flown a drone in temperatures this cold before in the four and a half years, slightly over four years that I've been flying. So it's 20 below, cold is gripping the nation right now, like all the way down the middle of the country, freezing cold, so 20 below here. I think it was like 45 below somewhere in northern Minnesota this morning. So I just wanna test out the Mini 2. I haven't tested the Mini 2 and how it performs in cold weather. Now I'll say right away, do not do this. Uh, I cannot recommend you guys do this. I'm not doing this to show you that it's possible. I'm doing this to show you what happens if you fly in these types of conditions. So I don't recommend this at all. It's very, very hard on your battery. So I'm just gonna get the Mini 2 out here and put it up. I'm just gonna fly it around. We don't have any really nice scenery. We don't have much snow this year, so there isn't really a lot to look at. But I'm just gonna fly over the golf course over here and fly over the river and stuff like that, dog park. So it's gonna be kind of boring. So, And I'll time lapse it so this video doesn't get to be too long, but I just wanna see what the battery life is, how fast it drops, and then I just wanna see if there's any performance issues. So let's get the Mini 2 up and see how it does in these cold temperatures. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is 51 Drones and my name is Russ. If you find value here and you like what you see, wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. So like I said, I'm gonna check out the Mini 2 and how it does in these cold temperatures. Uh, I'll put this up on the screen. My battery temperature right now is at 20, almost 21 degrees Celsius. So it's comfortable. Um, I apologize for the noise, the humming. It's my truck, I have a diesel and it runs pretty loud, idles pretty high when the temperatures are this cold. but. Uh, but still negative degrees, negative uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I'm just gonna put it up, we're starting at 99% and I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna see, like we'll probably bring it down to maybe 5%. The longest flight time that I've ever gotten with the Mini 2 has been 26 minutes, just over 26 minutes. I think it was like 26.10. So not bad. Uh, so let's see how it does today. Now before they do that, let's go inside where it's nice and warm and talk about today's sponsor. So the biggest challenge for me in this world of YouTube was learning how to edit videos. Over the past four years, I cannot tell you how much time I wasted looking for some well-paced, high-quality education on how to do it. Now, if I had known about Skillshare back then, I could be way ahead of where I am now. Skillshare is an online learning community for today's information seekers in the creative and technical world. With topics like photography, web design, video editing, podcasting, and yes, even some drone tutorials, there are thousands of classes for you to choose from to reach the next step in your creative journey. Now, right now, I'm actually in the middle of watching two classes, one on productivity and one on how to design a website that makes an impact. Since I've joined Skillshare, the class that has taught me the most is this one right here, Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro for Beginners with Jordi Vandeput from Cinecom. He makes the class so entertaining and I've learned so much. Searching for the perfect class is really easy and once you find it, you can go at your own pace and you can view the transcript at the same time. And Skillshare also recommends videos that you may find helpful based on your class history. And the first 1,000 people that use the link down in the video description will get a free trial. So you have nothing to lose and only knowledge to gain. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, also it's kind of windy out. It's like 40 below wind chill right now. And so that's gonna be a factor as well. So I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. So uh, 98 and the battery temperature is at 22. We got eight and a half volts, 8.54 volts. So let's go up and get it around. Addy mode. Oh, we're still in Addy mode. Let's hopefully let's get a signal here. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so we're good. Um, the issue that I had last year when I did this with the Mini was I had some jello effect on the footage. Like when I was recording the hospital build, uh, we're building a new hospital in our community. So I was flying around that. And when I was panning to the side, you could really see, like it was really jello effect. And so I'm wondering if we're gonna see that here. I see there's, it's drifting a little bit, but it shows, shows 26 satellites connected. So, so already it's, drifting a little um let's just go ahead and fly around a little bit here and see what it looks like 
Also, it looks like the footage is kind of foggy. Oh, look at the gimbal turn. <laughs> look at it tilt. All right. So let's not go too far away. Ironically, do you know the first time I flew ever flew a drone was right there. Uh, that's where I flew my Mavic Pro. And uh, so I just came back out here to the to the dog park. They actually added on to the dog park now. It's, it's a lot nicer. It'll be really nice when these trees grow. But yeah, we're having a little bit of gimbal issues here. Looks like it's not enjoying the cold temperatures. And it's kind of drifting a little bit to the right. So we're already having some issues there. So I'm just going to try to keep her pretty close or I might just fly over this path. For those of you asking, is it okay to fly from inside your vehicle? And yes, it is, as long as you keep it within visual line of sight, and I plan to do so. Um, I've had no trouble flying inside my vehicles. And especially around here where I live, it gets cold, really cold in the wintertime. And if I want to fly, I have to be inside my vehicle. Boy, that is driving me crazy with that tilted gimbal. I want to bring it down and see if we can fix that. On the Mini 2, you cannot do a gimbal adjustment while the propellers are spinning. So I'm going to just go ahead and just set it down for a second. Let's see where we're at. Battery temperature has dropped. It's at 19 degrees. We got 7.9, 7.8 voltage. Let's go ahead and just set her down right here. Landing. And real Landed. quick. Oh, look at that gimbal. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, camera. And where is my, oh, I think it's on control actually, yep. Gimbal calibration, auto. So we'll just do that for a second. Okay, that looks better. Oh, now it says I am you. Addy mode, addy mode, And then addy it mode. went away. Addy mode. I'm still getting addy mode. What is going on? Oh, there we go. There it locked on. Okay. That's weird. Okay, so we went down to 88% and the battery, 16.6 degrees. So it should warm up now with the motors running 7.7 .7 voltage. This battery has only been charged three times, so it's a relatively new battery. Okay, now I think we can fly a little bit further away. And what I want to do here, I'm just going to pan along these trees. Oh, there we're having some video footage issues. Look at that. Look at that. That's not good. <laughs> okay. And I haven't even pressed record yet, but okay, there we are. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. I'm just going to Actually, it's called trucking. I'm going to hit record and I'm just going to truck alongside these trees and see if we get any jello effect. I, I can't see it on the screen right now, but uh, I'll see it when I, uh, when I edit the footage. So I think it looks okay. It doesn't look like we're having any issues, but like I said, you won't really see it until we see it on the actual recording. So. And it looks like horizon is staying level, so that's good. Okay, let's just fly around a little bit here. Okay, so far, seems to be doing okay. Just a couple of transmission issues, I think, but... All right, let's fly right over the tops of these trees. get over here and we're at 17 degrees temperature dropped on the battery to 17 degrees Celsius which still isn't bad image looks okay let's go ahead and stop the recording now let's do um, I haven't gotten the 
this is really surprising. I haven't gotten the cold weather warning where it says uh, temperature too low for operation, etc., etc. So that's very odd. Um, I've gotten that on my other drones, Mavic Air 2, Mavic 2 Pro. I haven't gotten that on this, so it's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and flip it into sport mode, see how it does. Addy mode. Okay, we're getting up to about 30. And now it's switched to attitude mode. That's really weird. And backwards about 26 miles per hour. So we're definitely, speed is definitely limited. I'm sure battery power is limited. This is not, this is the worst, absolute worst thing you can do for your drone battery. So don't do this. 19 below, hey, it's warming up. 19 below sport mode. I do not recommend doing this. Yeah, I'm going full bore right now. 26.7 miles per hour maximum. And then back 28, about 28 miles per hour. So definitely uh, limiting the speed in sport mode. Addy Let's go mode. back to normal. It keeps saying Addy mode, but the um, but it shows I got GPS on, so I don't know. So we are having a little bit of issues nothing major thus far it's not crashing out of the sky yet so so that's good <laughs> all right i'm just going to fly around here time lapse this because this video is going to get too long so i'll just fly around and we'll bring it down to uh, say like five percent oh let's pause real quick here i got the battery went up to 20.3 20 20.4 20 as soon as i just let it hover then it drops We're still at 7.4 volts, so it's pretty good. Still dropping, 19.5, 19.4, 19 19.3. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking when I had it in sport mode. Addy mode. Yeah, that's strange. It's not in addy mode. Sport mode, let's see what happens to the battery temperature. 18.9, 19, sport mode raises the battery considerably. And we're down, running 6.7 volts right now. So we're back up to 20 degrees Celsius on the battery, running in sport mode. Full bore, we're getting 21 miles per hour. And then backwards, that is going straight into the wind. So let's go backwards with the wind. And we're getting, oh, very good. With the wind, we're getting about 35, 36 miles per hour. So definitely better with the wind. Adding All right, we'll put it back into normal. And it looks like the battery's kind of hanging around at that 22 degrees Celsius. So if you want to warm up your battery, flip it into sport mode. Okay, so there we are, uh, ending temperature 19.5 degrees Celsius, so it hovered pretty well between 18, 19, 20 degrees Celsius. So, I mean, the battery stayed pretty warm. It didn't do bad at all. As far as flight time, let's, um, we're gonna have to add those two together because I did land to calibrate the um, gimbal, but let's check it out. Okay, so first we flew, we started at 99%, we flew for four minutes, and actually three minutes and 15 seconds. And then the second flight was 16 minutes and 48 seconds. So about 20, about 20 minutes of flight time. I'll put it up on the screen here for total flight time. So total flight time was significantly reduced uh, just because that battery drains so fast. So it performed pretty well. As far as the jello footage, I don't see it on the screen and I don't think you can. If there was jello footage, I've already discussed it. Uh, as I cut in to show you guys the jello footage, but I don't I, I think it did much better than the mini 
uh, the original Mavic Mini did. So flight time was actually less than when I did the Mini flight test last winter, but also I think it was only minus three degrees Fahrenheit and there was less wind that day. Today there's quite a bit of wind. So there's another factor to consider with the, um, along with the cold temperature, still 19 degrees below Fahrenheit and a little bit of wind. So again, if you wanna fly in these cold temperatures, make sure that you keep yourself safe. That's the most important thing. Uh, you can fly from inside the vehicle, keep yourself nice and warm. If you wanna get some nice scenery in the winter time, you can certainly fly from inside your vehicle, but, uh, but just be aware that that battery is gonna drain a lot faster. And also it's not good at all to fly in these temperatures on your battery. So it's possible, but not recommended. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Great big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Check them out, you guys. I've learned so much. Be sure to subscribe if you're not. Hit one of the thumbs, preferably the one that's pointing up. Thank you for watching the entire video today. I really appreciate that. Have a great day, everyone. Stay warm, and as always, fly safe and fly smart.